what, what we saw when we came to France, we, we got a wonderful reception from regular people here at Fien Mousse, uh, at other you know, beer bars and among people. But um, the press was, uh, was skeptical. New York Times came out with a big article and uh, everybody in the world saw it. It was, it was great. You know, it was in the dining section, big picture, I'm smiling, like picture of me pouring. And they mentioned that France had the lowest per capita uh, uh, beer consumption of any uh, European country except for Italy. That it was like so low. Um, and that they thought that, you know, we would never be able to sell beer in France. That was the underlying idea. Two years later now, France is maybe our number five, number six market in the world. And I think that the reason for that is that people are sophisticated, especially in France. You know, people like things that taste good. And when we make beers, we are not making beers to try to impress you with bitterness, impress you with strength or whatever else. We are trying very hard to make beers that are delicious. And French people really like delicious things. And they tend to leave aside, more than Americans, all the hype, uh, you know, so-and-so has 80 IBUs. Americans are like, oh, I want 80 IBUs. The French are like, who cares, bah, you know, who cares? Uh, uh, is it delicious? And that's always the question, you know, for me. So, you know, uh, I think that every country we go to, uh, you hear the same thing, uh, oh, like, our people are different. You know, uh, people here are very conservative. People here are very, uh, like, your people are not any different. It's great for some people to maintain tradition. You know, I think it's great that you go to Germany and you can still get the best, you know, German style beers in the world in Germany. You know, are you really going to beat these guys? I don't know. Um, but at the same time, you know, your tradition should not block innovation and uh, creativity. And I think all of these things are coming. You know, people are not going to be, you know, held back by tradition. Tradition is a, a privilege to have, you know, but, you know, it should not be handcuffs. Uh, and so, you know, we, we can be very traditional, you know, when we want to be, but we don't always want to be. Uh, but like, you know, we don't care. The only question is, is it delicious? And now I'm drinking uh, two beers from, uh, uh, from Salev, uh, you know, uh, a rye porter and, uh, you know, imperial, uh, imperial porter, and they're both beautiful. You know, uh, you know, France is going to be excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Here's the thing, you know, I learned, especially from French winemakers. Okay, you know, the guy from France comes with his wine. He, he is dressed really nicely, right? The guy looks good. 